Taliban declare China their closest ally. Here's a summary of the article. A more calculating real politic has characterized Beijing's approach to the new Afghan administration. A Taliban delegation visited China in July, meeting Wang Yi, the foreign minister, in Tianjin for talks. China has also been one of the few countries not to have evacuated staff from its Kabul embassy in the wake of the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. We hold in high regard the One Belt One Road project that will serve to revive the ancient Silk Road. Beyond that, we have rich copper mines which thanks to the Chinese can be brought back into production and modernized. China represents our passport towards the markets of the whole world. Earlier, Mr. Rab indicated that Kabul airport could reopen, in the near future, raising hopes among diplomats that the evacuation of vulnerable Afghans to Britain could resume within days. Amid a week of bitter recriminations between the Foreign Office and Ministry of Defense over Britain's handling of Afghan crisis, Mr. Rab hit back at Ben Wallace, after the defense secretary suggested he knew the game was up in Afghanistan as early as July. Mr. Rab said the life-saving supplies are intended to help those Afghans who have left everything behind to reach neighboring countries. This post received a score of 71,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So, closest ally clearly means largest investor, which is thoroughly unsurprising, not actually closest ally, which would be. Yeah, the actual closest ally for the Taliban is obviously the Pakistani intelligence services who trained and housed and paid them. Pakistan, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Pakistan also has a close relationship with China. Yeah, because the enemy of their enemy, India, is their friend according to real politics style foreign policy. I mean it's working for them person shrugging. With China and Afghanistan sharing a border, they can start building their belt road into Central Asia at the Hindu Kush. I want some Afghan hash, they need to start exporting that shit homie. This is the real reason everyone wants to know what the Taliban is going to do to those fields lol. Squidgy Black Imagine that. Afghanistan holding one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. China the largest manufacturer of batteries. Didn't see that coming. But how do they bring in the infrastructure in a such a geographic condition? China will build it, like they've been doing in Africa. Afghanistan has massive untapped mineral deposits, and even if China rips them off with one-sided mining deals it might still end up being a net positive for the Afghan people. Yep. America plays the game for next quarter's profits, China is thinking decades out. Their ghost cities are a great example of that. Ten years ago they built massive cities that had virtually nobody living in them. US media universally ragged on them for it, and is just now publishing updated stories about how the cities are now fully populated. It's proactive vs reactive planning. That's the benefits of long-term stability in government. Specifically a one-party state. Hard to make any plans for ten years in the future when you know the government is going to flip to a party with a completely opposing agenda every four or eight years. Just to add, the CCP requires stability to stay in power, so it is in their interest to plan long term. Every government requires stability to stay in power. If they didn't have stability the alternative is either ungovernable panic or civil war. A two-party democracy prefers some instability to lose power, blame everything on the other guys, and then trade back next cycle. CIV always gets too complex on the ending turns. Early game CIV is so fun and after the industrial era I always stop caring. I constantly just make new games and never finish them. Late game is fun if conquest is your goal. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.